We live in an age where businesses are driven to create a social impact and as well technology are enabling those businesses to do much more than previously possible. The combination of that sort of entrepreneurship with the technology piece put together, I think, could really eradicate poverty within a few decades. Design can, can make the world a better place. My co-founder is a coffee trader and he is constantly traveling in the coffee cooperatives across sub-Saharan Africa. And he was the one that identified in the early 2000s how mobile phones were increasing their penetration in these regions, but how difficult it was for farmers to charge those phones. It was very common to find a farmer commuting two hours to reach the nearest town where they would pay for the power that they needed to charge their phones. The key thing is that when you're dealing with very low income markets, trying to sell products is very difficult. We provide our equipment for free and then the entrepreneur runs a service of providing the power and the connectivity to the communities. A customer will come along to these local entrepreneurs, will send a text message or a mobile payment transfer, and they will unlock the power in our hub. So all the transactions are cashless, and we're able to monitor uh, the performance of our hubs remotely. The UN already identified the mobile phone as the biggest contributor to economic growth in this region, so imagine what smartphones could do. But they won't have access to data, at least not a bigger percentage of that, because the data is still quite expensive for them. So if we can provide the power for all those smartphones which are more power hungry, they need uh, internet connectivity in the shape of Wi-Fi, for instance, and that will enable uh, much uh, greater growth in these regions. Our hubs are GPS located and that allows you to identify the sport where they are based. So you can make, a, for instance, a, a delivery from products to vaccinations, if you like. That's quite important because like, if you go to these villages, I mean, there's no street names, there's no numbers, there's nothing like that. What we use to distribute our hubs are existing human networks. Since we provide equipment for free, we need some trusted entrepreneurs that we can give this equipment to. So we partner up with mobile network operators that have agents that are located in shops where they will sell airtime or devices, anything related to mobile phones in these regions. And we are collaborating with other companies doing and banking inclusion, where the agents will be sort of a human cash point. The key thing is that our uh, entrepreneurs are already engaged commercially with the village. So when we provide our equipment, they just have another service to offer. Batteries are a sort of a hazardous waste. You end up with hundreds of thousands of batteries in places where there's no proper recycling systems. So for us, um, being uh, owners of the equipment, owners of the, of the waste, we can convert that waste into new products, for instance, where the batteries will have not the, the right capacity to run our hubs, but they will be enough to power other, other devices that we're producing. So that's sort of ecosystem that we're creating in these off-grid villages that has been the consequence of all these learnings and all the things that we have seen in these markets. We already uh, have charged over a quarter of a million phones to more than 60,000 uh, unique users, generating around 2 million hours of airtime calls. So what the future brings to us is that expansion that will um, enable millions of people to have better access to the internet, better access to power, and enable this mobile phone revolution that we see in, across the off-grid world. One of the things that, that we're tackling is, is poverty, and that makes a, a compelling story to engage with the crowd. And there's, again, there's so many people that are, can, that are seeing business with a positive uh, social impact as, as a good investment. So if you can combine economic return with a social impact, it's a very good combination that allows you to uh, obtain the resources that you need to uh, grow companies like ours. <laughs>